Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, five o'clock in New York, markets have just closed. The FOMC meeting has concluded for the month. Yellen has spoken and there will be no interest rate hikes beginning at least this month. In response to that, we had a roller coaster ride in the equities markets, which were up a couple hundred points, ending up closing down about 60 or 70 points in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Precious metals did benefit from this announcement. We have gold trading up approximately $13 on the day, 1131.93, with a low of 11.15 and a high of 11.35. Most importantly, how does today's announcement by the Fed holding off raising interest rates really affect the precious metals market's outlook over the next couple of weeks or through the end of the year for that matter? Has it really changed anything? In my opinion, it is a mild to moderate game changer because this is the kind of information that will allow gold bulls to get bullish on the market again and propel this market back off of these most recent lows. When we look at our daily chart, and I put it as a 1440 so that it updated properly, you can see these sizable moves that we have had over these last two days. Yesterday, in anticipation of there being no rate hike, and today, rumor and then fact, a continuation of this move up. You can see that in terms of a technical look at the market, we definitely have this rounded bottom at this point. We absolutely categorically have very strong support at 1100. There's no doubt about that, but that's just a cursory look because when we look at it a little bit deeper, what you will see is that we've got a couple of pretty key resistance levels that we're quickly approaching. And so to best illustrate that, I draw your attention to the daily chart I've just put up. It's in, a, in terms of the sequence, 1440 minutes. And we also have a 50-day moving average that we've added along with two different FIB retracements. The primary FIB retracement that we want to look at is the retracement from 1232 down to 1072. I do have a smaller retracement that simply goes from 1180 down to these recent lows at 1071 and those are these sidebars here we talked about the fact that we had an important level that level was 1109 once that level was breached the next real level that had real relevance i believe was 1121 now you'll also notice that 1121 and the 50-day moving average kind of intersect at that same place. And so today, we Jeff definitely had a genuine breakout as this market moved above that and then moved above what I consider right now uh, to be a level that we want to see it move above because it traded above it but closed just below it. And that number is 1133. It is a 38% retracement, and it is a 38% retracement from this larger move. So that's very significant. So we currently have a small or or very, very sensitive level of resistance, meaning I think that it will be taken out pretty easily. And 1152 is the real number between 1152 and of course, 1171. These are really important numbers because not only do they really tell us an important area in terms of a short term resistance area but when we look at some of the longer term studies it becomes a critical area and to illustrate that really we have to move to our really long term studies this is a monthly chart spot gold and in there i've got really one key area of key resistance and that resistance was really broken back at the beginning or the excuse me the end of last year we had one little pop back up to 1300 and over the last few months again each bar represents a month we have seen a new support level at around 1100 but the real area that we want to see this market be able to trade above of course is this level right here which is the 61 percent retracement of the larger move at 1156 because if we can see the market break above this particular point here, we can then make a case for a bullish model. And that bullish model in terms of the length, we're talking about a bullish model that takes us all the way to 2008. Tremendous rise in the market, this being 
obviously an impulse wave, corrective wave taking us roughly 61% of that move, and then a following impulse wave, which would take us to new highs. Now, that is something, a model that I've been waiting to kind of see if it could unfold for the last couple of years, because we've been under tremendous pressure. And of course, it looked the darkest in terms of when we looked at the pure numbers in the market, it looked the darkest really over the last couple of trading months, because you can see that we had a close, a close, and now a close below this really critical benchmark right here. So for the first time in a while, we're actually coming back to being able to see if we can not only test this area, but take this area out, because on a technical basis, and to have any kind of bullish model in play, and, and traders, you know that I am a gold bull, but I have to really rely on what the number's telling us. And a gold bull in a, in a bear market doesn't really say that much. We've got to see some real technical and fundamental confirmation that we could be at the end or the, the tail of this particular bear run that we've had. But if we can see this market once again move back over 56 traders, I think we've got a different ball game. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap up and review. Bye-bye.